Today we're making a cocktail that has has a problem with this color. I think geckos can change color. And you want to know why? I don't really know. I just made that up on the fly. Keep watching to see this blue purple gecko be awesome in my face. Welcome to Comet Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Sorry, I don't mean to scream. I think Derek, no, somebody told me. It was uh, somebody said, don't scream at them, whatever. Uh, so today we're making the purple gecko. Oh, good. This might work out. Blue curacao. No, your okay. orange is going to mess it up. Okay. This is what we're going to make. It's called the purple gecko, produced by our executive producer, Patrick. It contains, oh, and submitted by Patrick. I don't know if they're the same Patrick. It's, it's a name. Patrick Starr. He's got a name, and so there's more than one Patrick. Use the last initial? Patrick V. So if Patrick V and Patrick, the submitter, are the same, or the executive producer are the same, that's wicked weird. Um, ounce and a half of tequila, half ounce of blue curacao, half ounce of orange curacao, one ounce of cranberry juice, one ounce of sour mix, half ounce of lime juice. The sour mix could also screw with this, but the purple gecko is supposed to be purple, and I think the way that works is it has something to do with primary colors. When you take blue and you put red together, it shit turns out purple. The question is, is the orange curacao and the citrus, especially because this has like a limey green yeah. color to it, is that going to give you the right color? But you know what? I don't really care. If the purple gecko ends up red, fine. It would not be the first time that that's happened on the show. I actually think if you use something else, it's called the red gecko. Well, I fine. I put a note in there. I don't know if I copied the note. There's no notes. It's a shake with ice straight into a highball glass. I got a highball glass right there. I got ice over here. And I got shaking abilities in my arms. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So let's go with... This drink. We'll start with the blue. I'm curious to see if the blue and the red are gonna work. So the measurement for the blue is gonna be, I'm reading, half ounce. You, you yell at Ian to not measure in the air, and you measure in the air. I yell at Ian not to measure in the air because, fine. They're typically, it's, it's, Ian's got nothing better to do. He's building a drink, so he can take his time. I was trying to rush through it, but that's cool. You don't want to use that camera to rush through it. Makes my job easier. I'll be right back. I know I cleaned that, but whatever. All right, fine. Now, or wait, no, I'm gonna do the red because I'm curious. Let's go with red. This is going to be red, red, curry, curry, ounce, which is more. I don't know what I did to the blue. Oh, my bad, my bad. The blue is all over the place. Jiggers are kind of weird that way. Oh, well. We're gonna then do, so far, it kind of looks like the water paint when you like keep putting everything in the same water <laughs> over and over. Come on. Oh, question of the day. Uh, Derek asked, not this Derek, another Derek, if you could make one not, take one non-alcoholic beverage from the store, empty it halfway, is that right? Is that what we're doing? We're emptying it halfway? Empty 30% of it. Okay, 30% is gone. So you dump it or fill you drink it. Fill it with booze. You fill it with booze. What is, your, what is the non-alcoholic beverage that you're emptying? What's and you're allowed to drink that 30% because I said so. And what is the alcohol you're putting into it? <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know what's going on. Now, also, we're using my bag. We're using today, my friends, a new product that I purchased because I've always wanted to own it. This is called Siete Leguas, or Siete Leguas, if you want to say it correctly. Never had it. Well, I've had it. I've had it at restaurants, but I've never been able to find it. Found it at a liquor store today where I pick up my cocktail bitters for the store. Yeah, ooh, it smells awesome. And this, ounce and a half. I'm going to pour this up here because I have to. Ounce and a half. This is the product that if you are an old school Patron drinker, this is what you would know the taste to be like. This is probably before Paul Mitchell changed the recipe. Paul Mitchell, if you ever hear Paul Mitchell hair care products, they're the ones who own Patron. Uh, they changed the recipe and they made their own blend or their own product, whatever, I don't know, it's not really a blend. Um, and this apparently was the original product that they used to sell before they re remade it. So for people like love the underdog and then they change and you hate them, then that would probably be why most people dislike the Patron today compared to what the Patron was yesterday because it doesn't have this product and this is a good product. 
Um, if you go to a restaurant, if a good barkeeper says, we don't have Patron, but we have Sete Leguas, we'll, send, we'll have, serve that for you, or Seven Leagues, we'll give that to you, they probably know what the crap they're talking about. Just saying. An ounce of sour mix, freshly squeezed. It's lemon, one lemon, one lime, and two ounces of simple syrup. Squeeze with my own hands from lime. the simple syrup, simple syrup plant. Half ounce of lime juice. This is the question everybody is currently writing, so slow down if you haven't already. Derek, why would you include lime juice when it already comes to sour mix? And I would tell you, person, insert name here, I don't know. However, my... Measure. It's, it's a half ounce. Could have been a juicy lime or a non-juicy lime. Then I love my limes to be juicy. Uh, the only reason I could see that being a thing is if they used sour mix off the shelf and it's never going to taste like citrus, if you add in that extra lime, you're going to get that nice limey bite to it. And that could also be the case if you leave this in the refrigerator overnight for a party and the next day you're like, oh, I need to pull that out and use it for this party. It's going to have less uh, tart to it because the, the oxygen starts to break down the, uh, the citrus. Citrus just doesn't work well in batched cocktails. You always have to add it later. So this is probably, I'm going to guess, may even be absolutely no good reason, probably why they would do that. Maybe they wanted a little more lime in their sour? In their coconut? <laughs> lime and coconut. Moochie cat says, Derek, how come lime? <laughs> <laughs> well, Moochie, let me tell you the story. <laughs> Second question today, why is it I'm the only person who looks at the camera? I don't know. Because you're good. Well, you know, I can't argue with that. So, I want to use some nice ice in here. So I'm going to shave myself off a little bit because this is, uh, this is tall. And I want to be able to fit this in here. Oh my god, it's like, it's like I meant to do that. Let's build a drink. Also, if you care, I like this shake for 10 seconds. If you go to homecocktailmenu.com and you buy Jennifer's uh, recipe book, pitch, uh, you, I, I, I helped define this if it wasn't already defined. She probably did anyway. But 10 seconds shake. Every day, 10 seconds shake. Perfect dilution. Could probably go a little bit longer, but it, it gets colder. If you're stirring, a 10 second shake is almost like, I, I think I want to say almost two minutes of stirring to get the same chill and dilution that you get from a 10 minute shake. High five yourself. Ow. That, my friends, was because of David Warhey's badass dono donations in live stream. See, if you're in the live stream right now, you could give me money. Is that not selling it? Not selling it. No garnish on this drink. What color is this supposed to be? Purple. Mm. <laughs> Fail. That's the problem, my friends, with using the color combination of blue curacao against cranberry juice when you bring other ingredients in. The cranberry, if you get a really bright cranberry juice with maybe some red number 40 or something, you know what, if you fresh press that, that would be purple, guaranteed. Yeah. But it would be tart as fuck. So I wouldn't suggest doing that. And you could mix some more in. We did make a purple something at some point in time and it was also blue. So this isn't new here. Um, you would have to perfect either the this, the brand you're using now if had I clear, used- If you use a clear orange curacao. Or if I use the other blue curacao, maybe. It's the weakness. You did uh, an ounce of cranberry juice against a, a half ounce of overly blue curacao, so you probably need even more cranberry juice in here. Either way, it looks like a nice pool drink. Just change your name. It's called the Blue Gecko now. Wait, I didn't get a picture of that. You've been standing there. I have been standing there. Nice. Is that good? A little bit this way. I'm never good. A little this. too much. Yes. So, ultimately, the flavor profile of this drink, damn, something sticky here. Uh, the flavor profile of this drink is no doubt tequila. 
It's got nice tequila flavor. If you don't like tequila, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do for you. You need to learn to drink it better. Uh, the Siete Legos uh, comes out really well. It's got like a salty lime, agave play. It's, it's not too sweet. It's, it's almost, I want to say it's kind of a, a shy sort of sour. Not even that dry considering the, there's a use of cranberry juice in here. Um, I, and I, I can't explain that. You've got lime. You've got everything to kind of create that dry finish. But I'm not getting the dry finish. I'm just getting, I'm getting margarita. That's what I'm getting. And let me see. So, the only difference between this drink, for those that are probably writing the question now, or probably earlier, because they were like digesting the recipe as I read it off and went, that's like a margarita, dude. Uh, this has tequila, sour mix, and citrus. That's a margarita. Like, I don't care. You can, well, however you define yourself a margarita, you can pull off all three of those ingredients and you're there. Like. It might be, I like my margarita the Grand Marnier. I might like my margarita with the triple sack, or I might, whatever. You're gonna have those specific flavors. Some people might add a dash of orange juice. If you just said, I don't want a dash of orange juice, screw that, but you also like cranberry juice and you bring that in there. Cadillac margarita, what is that? It's cranberry juice. It's pink not, lemonade, it's, no, it's cranberry juice. Um, yeah, pink lemonade is freaking hard. Cranberry juice is easy. Cranberry juice in a margarita, pink Cadillac. There's probably something else in it too, I don't remember what it is. The only thing this is missing from a sweetening agent is the um, agave nectar, really. That's it. But you're using a sour mix, use a fresh sour mix. If you're not using a fresh sour mix, I've told you this story before, don't do that. It's just bad. You could, as Wayne in the chat room said, if you drop a touch of grenadine in there, you want me to do it? You probably won't change the flavor, right? Um, I will. Your grenadine's not very rich. My grenadine is freaking awesome! Where's my grenadine? I could really use grenadine right now. You just used it. It's in there somewhere. Um, did I put it back? I don't I typically don't put stuff back. Oh, no, I didn't. No, that's another one. Um, I had to put it back in here. I don't know. If you use grenadine, it's. The problem is my grenadine is in a short bottle. But you can pull it back without changing too much of the flavor profile, I don't think. Ready? Uh, your grenadine's turning it gray. Fuck that. I told you your grenadine's not red enough. You need some fake. So, told you so, you told need some so. fake ass grenadine. Just just don't don't worry about the color. Change the name of the drink. It's so much easier. The drink's fine. It's a margarita that she thought they didn't change it. Um, although it did give it a weird color. Um, very tequila forward. This is really good. <laughs> and and I'll have to, we'll have to do a tasting on this because I think it'll help my views. But it, it's a really good product. I don't remember what I paid for it. This was stuff around here someplace. It wasn't cheap. It came in a box. That means it's got to cost money. Well, it was also in Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, people live other places that have taxes just because we don't. Um, I like this drink, but you have to like margarita. Think margarita. With a slight variation to it, but not much. Purple Gecko. Thank you, Patrick and Patrick. The double Patricks. Neither which of them have the end of the name of Star. Your question of the day, we asked that David came up with the question of the day today. So thank you, David, for that. No, that was Derek. That was Derek. Why did I say David? I don't know. I don't even know David. Is there a David in there? Maybe I saw his name. I didn't yeah, see David him. donated to you. Oh, maybe that's what I was thinking of. Um... So, it's Thursday. Facebook.com slash Cocktail TV. You should go to our Facebook page. What I learned, however, is that most of you don't listen to Facebook, and I blame Facebook for that. They only allow 2 to 3% of my posts to ever get to your inbox or your timeline thing. Uh, but you should follow us anyway. Just check out the site daily. I'm always putting stuff out there, at least the VSOP episodes. This week, I don't know if I'm going to need a VSOP episode because some of these are, are fast or not. If they're not fast, I'll cut them into two. Uh, but... I posted out a, a video and I have some stuff about Jennifer's new website, Home Cocktail Menu, and, and like, I got no sales. I posted a video 9 o'clock in the morning the next day, and I had four. So, you guys aren't either very active on Facebook, or it's just sort of like a thing you do every now and then. Either way, you should still follow us, because I need the views. I need to beat Peter Irera from Spirit Cocktails on his Facebook page, because he's submitted drinks to Tipsy Bartender. So, Tipsy Bartender gives a shout out, and he gets, he gets thumbs up. Tissy Bartender doesn't do any drinks I submitted. Granted, I've only submitted them one. 
in five years since I've known him. But he didn't do it. And and here I am with what nine hundred recipes in my inbox. Yeah. So no no. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, pocket of black. Uh, I don't really expect it to do the one cocktail. I think I submitted him the uh, the uh, the win the what the winter's coming. Is that that's the, the oh, winter's coming show? Yeah. And I thought it would help him because it was maybe he did it. I don't even freaking know. I don't watch his channel every day. So if he did, you guys let me know. He has shouted me out in the past, and I think I got three subscribers from it for him and his two million. So whatever. Um, on the tenth of June, you will find Rumson's here. We're gonna make a bunch of rum cocktails. If you have a rum cocktail that you think would fit against the Rumson's brand, you should submit it to recipe at everydaydrinkers.com. That way Jennifer can pick it up if it's a good rum cocktail. Uh, put Rumson's... Put Rumson's in the, the subject. Like, the I think this would be good for the Rumson's guy to look at. If you would love the control to be able to say, hey, Rumson's folks, I would love you to look at my recipe, I will... Give that chance. If your recipe doesn't suck, I'll do a line by line audit and say, yeah, that, mm, I don't know. If I get a lot of them. If you're the only one, and this could happen, if you're the only person to submit it, then it's like, is it in? If I get 20 or 30 of them, I'm going to have to actually do work. And I don't like to do work, but I will for you guys because you, you know, your subscribers and everything. So that's it for today. Remember to check out Jennifer's website, uh, homecocktailmenu.com, especially if you want to get a, a simple syrup recipe for cinnamon simple syrup and vanilla simple syrup, which we created this week. I bought vanilla beans for that. So there's a blog entry for how you can make it if you want to make your own. We are done, my friends. We're teaching you how to drink. That's not gray. It's not gray. Oh, uh, you know why? No. You're blue curacao. My blue curacao is not blue enough? Yeah, most likely. Yeah. If you use uh, a different blue curacao with more artificial coloring,